day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with part two of our pirate play ship. Today, we're going to make it look epic. So let's get cracking. Friends, of course, before we can do part two, you need to have done part one. If by any chance you missed that, there will be a link up above in the cards so that you can complete part one. The video takes about 10 minutes, and then you'll be able to start up with this one. If you do have that one created, friends, you need to go to my.sketchup.com. There will be a link in the description you can click. Once you get there from the home page, you should be able to sell your projects, and we want to launch your ship. If you double click on it, you have to wait a few moments for it to load. Then when it does load, I highly recommend saving a duplicate. So I'm going to hit save as, I'm going to click on my SketchUp button, and I'm going to just type ship, and remember I had a 5, so I'm going to put a 5A. That way if something goes wrong, we've always got a second copy. Alright friends, let's press O for orbit, zoom in, and we're going to use a brand new tool over here. We want the tape measure that we're going to click on. Friends, I want you to click here, stretch it out on the red axis, type 10 and press enter. You will see a tiny dot appear right here. Press the letter R to switch to rectangle mode. Stretch your rectangle out in this direction. Remember if it shows you the wrong rectangle, we just tap control. And then we want to type 20 comma 4 for how large that rectangle is. Hit your space bar, click on that face. We're going to do P for push-pull. Remember, two hands makes this so much smarter. And then we're going to press 25 and enter to make an entry to our play ship. Hit the letter E for erase and get rid of that line right there. Orbit so we can see this from the edge. And we're going to hit R for rectangle and draw a rectangle right here. This one is going to be 20, 5 and press enter space bar so we can click on that face p for push pull nudge it a little and we want to pull our plank out 25. if we hit o for orbit you can see we have just made an awesome plank for our pirate play ship let's zoom out a little and then zoom in at the bottom of our ship because we're going to make a wicked cool porthole hit the letter c and we're just going to guess this location when you click to make your circle, we're going to type 6 and press enter for the radius. Switch to the select tool with the space bar and double click. You need to make sure that you've got the blue line and the inside. Right click on it and we have to make it a component. We're going to name this porthole, so make sure you type porthole. We are going to cut the opening and put it on any face. Click OK switch to M to move, and then this is one of the coolest things I've got for you. If we hover on the edge, it'll snap to the middle. We want to move across the red line, but tap control so it's making a copy. When you set it down, notice I clicked, go immediately to divided by, press 4, press enter, and check that out. It spreads them out evenly across our whole play ship. Right now I want you to hit O, so we're looking at this front side here, and we're going to put two more of these on this side. Once again, hit your space bar, click your shape, do your M for move, go to the edge of the circle, and then snap to the middle. Start it moving. Tap control so you're making a copy, and look at that, it bends around and says on face. Set that one down, hit your space bar, click on the one you want to move, hit M, go back to the center again, tap control, and this time you've got to make sure that you put it on the face. If we put it on the red axis, I'm going to show you this. When I hit O for orbit, check that out. It's out in space. So I'm going to delete that one with the delete key on the keyboard, and then from this angle, I'm going to hit my space bar, click my shape, do my M for move, now move to the center, and see how this one says on face? That's going to be in a good spot. If we hit O for orbit, you can now see our wicked cool portholes. All right, friends, this is where it gets awesome. Let's hit O for orbit, spin around, and go back to this one right here. Hit your space bar and double click it. This is called edit mode, and this is why we used a component. Click this face once and hit F for offset. Nudge it a little, and I want you to type the number 2 and press enter. 
This creates a ring on all of these at one time. Hit your P for push pull and we want to pull it out two millimeters and press enter. So now our porthole has an inside and an outside and it did it to all of them while we were just working on one. Let's move over to our paint or our materials. I want you to browse and when you go to the browse I want you to choose a color and find something that looks like wood. We want to click the outside, inside, and the inside frame. So it just painted all of those. And then let's collapse that, switch to glass and mirrors, pick your favorite glass color, and paint the inside as well. Friends, if we hit spacebar, click outside, and if you hit over orbit, look at that. You can actually see inside through that glass texture. Alrighty, friends, let's paint our play ship. Pick some fun colors and just use that orbit tool to get all the way around and get absolutely everything painted. Alright friends, it is time to add some sweet stairs to our project. We're going to do that by using what are called components. When you click on components, we need to carefully type SketchUp for schools up in this box. Press enter and then switch to models. I'm going to close the cookies window and then we're going to simply hit download on these stairs. When you click it, it asks where you want to put it. We're going to click that spot and then you need to wait for it to load. We are going to hit fit extents so we can see it better. And then I want you to press S for scale, click on a corner, and I want you to wiggle it a little and type 0 0.05 and press enter. Make sure you do that super small size. All right, friends, that made it nice and small so it'll fit. I'm going to zoom in on it and we're going to hit M for move. Friends, we're going to move this with a very special trick. We are going to hit the square brackets and type negative 20, comma, negative 20, comma, zero. Close that bracket and press enter to get it to snap where we want it. Now when we click our fit view, it'll zoom over to where it is and we want to attach it at this spot. Friends, if you put M for move, go to the midpoint and then go over to this side, you can click and get it close. I'm going to do O for orbit. Once you can see it that close, you can do your M for move again and get it to the exact location you want. If you zoom out, you can find the little red rotation handles and you can rotate it so it lines up just the way you want. Now that we've got our stairs in place, I'm going to hit space bar, tap the letter O, let's orbit and see just how wicked cool that looks. Friends, we have got stairs. Let's add a sweet steering wheel the same way. Once again, click the components, type SketchUp for schools. Make sure you spell that right. Press enter and switch to models. I'm going to hit the X on cookies again. I'm going to scroll down and here is our steering wheel. Hit the download and then click where you want to put it. I'm going to put it right at that spot right there. Zoom way out and press S for scale. Click one of these corners and start it shrinking and type 0 0.05 and press enter. It becomes tiny and it's close to where we want. Let's hit spacebar, click it, and do the move command. Once again, when we grab it and start moving, we're going to type some magic numbers with that bracket. This time we're going to type brackets 10, comma, negative 20, comma, 0, and then do the bracket and press enter. That gets it really close to our shape, so now we can click on the back edge of our M for move, and I'm going to just bring it to the edge of my plank. Notice it says it's on the M point. I'm going to O to orbit so I can see it from above, and then I'm going to make it a little smaller, so S for scale, and this one I'm just going to shrink to how I like it. M for move, let's grab that bottom edge, and I'm going to bring it to the front of my ship. Notice it says on face. If I hit over orbit, you can see it was right on this face, which is where we want to have it. You can adjust it as much as you want here, but that's how easy it is to add your awesome steering wheel. 
Let's repeat those steps one more time, but for a sweet slide we can add out here. Once again, components and type. Sketch up for schools. Press enter. Remember to click models. If you didn't spell it right, you can fix it up right here. We're gonna download this slide. It's gonna ask us where we wanna put it. I'm gonna click right here. Of course, it's huge. So we gotta zoom out to find it. I'm gonna do S for scale. Click on a corner and we are going to type 0 0.05 and press enter. Once again, we're going to zoom in on it a little bit. Hit M for move. I'm going to grab a corner and then with those brackets, this time we're going to type negative 20, comma, negative 20, comma, and we're going to type 0 and make sure you close the brackets and press enter. Let's click fit view or zoom extents to get where it was supposed to be. And now we wanna orbit so we're looking at it from the top and we wanna rotate it 90 degrees. If you switch to M for move, there is a cool red handle and you can just rotate it right to the 90 degree mark. I'm gonna use orbit again to look at it from the side. Press M for move. And I wanna connect this edge right here to this edge of my slide. Let's zoom in on that. You can see how well that lined up. Now let's do S for scale. And this time we're just gonna go to the middle on the right here. So not the middle at the top, the middle of the middle. And we're just gonna squeeze it to the exact spot that we think is perfect. I'm also gonna use the middle of this one to raise it up so now that it lines up so the kids can ride the slide. Friends, let's return to components one more time. Type that sketch up for schools again. Click on the models and this time we are gonna add the awesome flag. Click to bring it in, set it down, zoom way, way out, hit S for scale, start it wiggling and type 0 .05 and press enter. Let's orbit so we can see it. Click M for move and click anywhere on it and then do your square brackets. This time we're gonna type 10 comma 10 comma 80. Close that brackets and press enter. I'm gonna zoom in by using the zoom extents and this time we can hit M for move and let's grab this back edge and we wanna set it on this face. When you've got it like that, you can do your O for orbit. I like to orbit so I can see it from the top. I'm gonna hit M for move and I'm gonna zoom in on that little flagpole and I'm gonna put it out on the face near the middle of my ship. Let's hit O for orbit and spin around and see if we like it. I think that is pretty magnificent. Friends, I'm gonna hit space bar, click on the ground, hit O for orbit, and check it out, friends. We have got an amazing pirate play ship in just a little bit of time. Friends, tons of skills in here. Make sure you understand that move. Make sure you understand those brackets and scale and how to use the warehouse to add awesome things to your project. They can slow your project down, but they can also make it amazingly cool. Friends, if you've got time, you're welcome to add the portholes to both sides. I highly recommend you just do the exact same steps we did on the first side. It's a lot easier than trying to move those to the other side. Friends, of course, if you want more lessons, you can visit hlmodtech.com. I have got the SketchUp page where I keep all my lessons. You can also just follow me on YouTube. Friends, if you have any questions or comments, you can also use the messaging on the hlmodtech.com website. Lastly, friends, do not forget to hit save. You don't want to lose your work. You'll notice there are cool things that I have added that I haven't shown you yet. Please have fun. Keep exploring, friends. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.